Hi, welcome to Climbing Daily and welcome back to ISPO Munich. Today we've got the social with Adam, but first we've got a review of La Sportiva's new mountain boot. Hi everybody, I'm Sandro De Zolt from La Sportiva. I work in the marketing department and I'm also a tester and a mountain guide for La Sportiva. Um, here to introduce to you our brand new boots, the G2 SM. We designed this boot and we developed with this boot with uh, the help of Simone Moro. So we dedicate this boot to the 6,000 meters high difficult alpinism. We put a really tough gaiter with Cordura fabric and an inner shell composed with four layers that can give to you a really warm and lightweight boot. On this boot we apply the BOA Lessig system that help you to, and it allow you to set the exactly tension into the boot even with big lows in really low temperatures. You have two boas at the top of the boot. One is for setting the tension on the lower part of the feet and one is for setting the tension in the upper part. Here we have the inner liner. It's really warm really light and really really fast for drying. For the sole, here we have a really lightweight sole package that is made by honeycomb carbon fiber that give you a really stiff, precise and lightweight boot. This boot will be available on the market on the winter 15-16. 900 grams, 579 euros the retail price. To be honest, after walking around these halls for the day, the thought of being somewhere where you need those boots is quite appealing. Up next, we're off to Adam with the social. Thanks, Charlie. Before we start this week's show, we'd like to apologise for the cover image used with last week's episode. It was crass, misjudged, and only served to distract from an issue that we feel deserves far more respect than we gave it. In the interest of balance, and in recognition of the fact that not everyone has access to a large media platform, here are some of your views. What a horrific degrading picture on the cover you have of her. I hope she sues. You finally get a video up on your site that works and it's this garbage. Top job. The problem isn't SBC. It's our society that seems to reward celebrity or a pretty face more than it rewards accomplishment that's at fault. SBC is capitalising on that and fair play to her. She's getting money to climb after all. Such a waste of time. Disgusting video. A lot of people have expressed the same things I think about this matter, so I'll not repeat everything again. However, I'll make a summary about the post. Very, very, very distasteful job, Epic TV. Just get rid of the social part of the show. It's terrible. In climbing this week, Alex Magos finally admitted that his shoes are too tight. After Will Gag climbed Niagara Falls, the media attempted to see if the general public was still interested in climbing. And at a new bouldering wall in Germany, climbing was taken to the next level when large, sweaty men were used to grease up the comp problems. I'm a snag. Last up is the Alex Boot Show Award, and this week's runner-up is Peter Erard, who cranked out this one on Frenchie before ABS Nationals. We're filming. Ready? Yep. But the winner this week is Alex Puccio. She did win the event after all. Power to the pooch. Remember to hashtag your training photos and videos, Puccio Power, for your chance to be featured on the show and to win an Epic TV t-shirt. We'll see you next week on The Social, if we don't get cancelled. Thanks, Adam. Check back tomorrow when we've got an interview with Ines Papa about her making the second ascent of a completely unpronounceable Robert Jasper route in Candlestick. See you then. <laughs>